Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are we ready to meditate with Kari? Lay down and get comfortable. Make sure that everything is just right in your room. You have your fuzzies to snuggle into and life is good. Okay. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were going on a day trip. They were very excited about their day trip. They'd been waiting to go for at least a week. Heidi and Cherry's owners had got friends that they were going to go visit and everyone was going, including the cats. They were excited because they'd heard there were some children living at the house where they were visiting. There was a girl that was called Sophie and a little boy that was called Finn and they were super excited to meet them. When they got there, they'd been in their cat carriers and they were very, very impatient. They couldn't wait to get out and meet the kids. Their owners carried them into the house and everyone kind of checked everything out, made sure it was safe for the cats, and then they let them out of the carriers. Vea ran very quickly to the feet of Finn and started to meow. Meow, meow, meow. But in her language, she was really saying, no, no, which meant she liked Finn straight away. And then Heidi and Cherry, Heidi was slower because she's much more sensible and serious. We know that. Cherry bounced her way over just like Tigger and snuddled into Sophie's feet and spun around Finn's feet and said hello and rolled in between them and, and poured her feet all over them and rubbed her head on them and anything that she could do to let them know that she liked them already, she did. And then, of course, she meowed a lot. Meow, 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 which to everyone else just sounded like a very excited cat. But Sophie and Finn understood exactly what she was saying. Cherry said, Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We're so excited to be here! We've been waiting all week and we heard that you guys were super cool and that you like to do super cool things and I'm so excited! I can't wait! I can't wait! Can we go to your room? Can we see your bedroom? I want to see your bedroom! I've heard that you have bunk beds! Bunk beds are the coolest beds in the entire world. If I was a person, I'd want a bunk bed. Wouldn't you want a bunk bed, Vaya? Wouldn't you want a bunk bed, Heidi? Heidi said, well, bunk beds are very cool. I do like the fact that you can kind of sleep together and, and be in the same room. That is very cool. Cool is amazing. I want to see him. I want to see him now. Sophie and Finn told their parents that they were going back to the bedroom and that was totally okay so everyone went back there when they got inside of the room of course the cats pounced all over the bunk beds even Heidi and then Cherry spotted a dragon (gasps) Vaya Vaya Get out of here, slowly, walk backwards, don't let the dragon see you. Sophie said, it's okay, that's Brumley, Brumley's a nice dragon. How can dragons be nice? Dragons blow smoke and fire and they burn you, how can they be nice? I didn't think dragons could be nice. I don't think I believe you, Sophie. I think dragons can be really, really mean. No, trust me. Brumley sleeps with me all the time. He's a really nice dragon, said Sophie. Well, in that case, I want to meet him. 
Cherry grabbed hold of Vea because she needed some support. She was still nervous. And they both scurried their way up the bed covers. Vea jumped all over Brumley and, and made friends with him straight away. And Cherry just kind of watched and then said, Hello? Hello? Brumley was a stuffed dragon. So he didn't say anything. But then... Brumley did say, Hello. Cherry looked around very quickly. Like, did that just happen? Brumley said, oh, Can you hear me? Can you hear me talking? And Cherry said, Yeah! Yeah, are you, are you supposed to talk? Did the, do, does Sophie and Finn know that you can talk? No, no, they don't know, but I can. And I understand them and I and I love them and I talk to them all the time in my mind. <gasps> and then all of a sudden, something very unusual happened. Brumley started to get bigger. Like, seriously, like, started to get bigger. And Cherry noticed straight away, oh, you're growing! You're growing! Is that normal? Are you supposed to grow? Brumley said, when people can hear me, I start to magically grow. Vea said, no, 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 which meant she was very excited. Cherry said, Heidi! For a second, can you just come, come and meet Brumley for a second? Heidi took herself over to the bed and scurried up the bed covers and sat next to Cherry and Vea as they were watching Brumley. And Brumley said, "Hello, Heidi," and Heidi said, "Oh, a dragon, a dragon that can talk." Cherry said, yeah, he, he's called Brumley! He's called Brumley! And he grows when he talks! Watch! Make him talk! Make him talk! Brumley started to talk about all sorts of things. He started to talk about the fact that he was a magical dragon and that if people could really hear him, he would come to life. And when he come to life, he would grow and he would get bigger and he would get bigger and he would get so big that he could take you on a dragon flight. No way, said Cherry. But as she was watching and listening, Brumley was growing. He was growing bigger than the bed. He was growing bigger than most of Sophie and Finn's room. Sophie and Finn came over with their little mouths open. What's happening to Bramley? said Finn. Cherry said, He's growing! He's growing because he's magical and we can hear him talk. And when we hear him talk, that means he grows and that means he can take us for a flight. We can go on a flying trip. Do you want to go on a flying trip, kids? Do you think your mum and dad will let you go on a flying trip? <gasps> maybe we should tell them. Or maybe we should because we'll get in trouble. Or maybe we shouldn't because it's just magic. Or maybe we should because we'll start getting trouble. Heidi said, just keep, just keep watching. Just keep watching. Look, he's getting even bigger. He's getting so big that his head's starting to pop out of the window. <gasps> We're never going to get out of here to go on a flight, said Cherry. How are we supposed to get out of here to go on a flight? He's so big, he can't even get out of the door. Bromley said, that's okay. If I sneeze, I go back to normal size. So if I sneeze and I go back to normal size, everybody get ready to get on my back, 
on the count of three and then we'll fly out of the window when I'm just the right size to fly out of the window and then we won't go far and then we won't get into trouble and we won't have to tell anyone about it. It'll just be um, our little thing together and I promise I'll keep you all safe and, and yes, let's do that. Sophie and Finn looked at each other as if to say, hmm, is this a good idea? Maybe we should tell Mum. So that's exactly what they did. They went out into the living room and both of them together at the same time said, Mum, we're going to go on a magical flight on the back of Bromley and we're not going to be very long and we're going to stay safe. And Mum and Dad looked at them both as if they were completely crazy and, and giggled and laughed and said, OK, kids, we'll see you in a bit and just went along with it. Well, Sophie and Finn thought, great, Mom and Dad don't obviously mind. They went back into the bedroom. Bromley sneezed. <gasps> went back to his normal size. Then everyone started to make him talk and he started to grow again and he got bigger and he got bigger and he got big enough for the cats to get on his back, for Sophie to get on his back and for Finn to get on his back and go on a magical dragon ride. They flew out of the window. They flew up over the trees. They flew higher, up over all of the houses in the neighborhood, and they started heading towards the clouds. Oh my gosh, this is the bestest thing I have ever, 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 ever done. They are. which meant she was very, very excited. And Heidi was gripping onto the back of Brumley with her claws very tightly. I like it, but I'm not so sure, said Heidi. Sophie and Finn thought it was incredible. Sophie said, this is the best. I didn't know you could do this, Brumley. Bromley turned round and gave her the biggest dragon smile ever. And Finn, Finn said, I wonder which one of the clouds would produce the most rain. And I wonder this and I wonder that. And Cherry and Vea and Heidi decided that obviously Finn was very smart and maybe a little bit scientific. He was thinking about which cloud would have the most rain and if we went through that cloud we may get very, very wet and all of that kind of stuff. It was very cute. They flew up into the clouds. They flew through the clouds. And then Brumley got even bigger. In the distance, there was something flying towards them. Something dark and grey and bluish looking. It wasn't a cloud. Finn said, that's definitely not a cloud. That looks just like a giant dinosaur shark. What? said Heidi. <gasps> Cherry. Freya just said, no, 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 which meant, it's okay, don't worry, I think we're okay. Finn looks like he knows the shark. That shark is no ordinary shark, said Finn. That shark is my friend. That shark is Megalodon. Oh, said Sophie. Phew. 
Thank goodness for that. I thought we were going to get eaten in the sky by a giant dinosaur shark. It's okay, cats. You can all chill out. It's just Finn's friend. The shark got closer and closer and closer. And then all of a sudden, Brumley and Megalodon started jumping through the clouds together like dolphins jump in the ocean. They were going out and down and up over the clouds and down under the clouds. It was such a fun ride. They went flying through the clouds for the longest time, what felt like the longest time. They started to fly down below the clouds and everyone could see the houses and the trees again. They were flying down lower, down towards the streets and the gas lamps and the cars. It was funny, it was like they were invisible. No one saw them. There were people walking in the streets, but yet no one noticed them. No one saw them there at all on this magical dragon ride that they were going on. They flew all the way home and Brumley sneezed and got small enough to go through the window. And then when they got through the window, he sneezed again and got small enough to sit at the bottom of Sophie's bed where he always was normally it was magical because it was like it never really happened Brumley was back to normal and the cats well they had to go home everyone said goodbye and then All that was left was Sophie and Finn. They were laid in their bunk beds talking about what a magical day it had been and yet no one really knew about it. Sophie and Finn would probably never look at the dragon and the shark the same ever again. That was a good thing because they were super special. They would always be very special. They would always have their little secret about how magical they are. It was getting late and they were super tired. It was time for bed. Both of them snuggled up with their fuzzies. Got very comfortable. It was time to relax. Time to let go of your day, your magical day. They both closed their eyes and started to relax and fall to sleep. And as they slept, they dreamed. They dreamed about the clouds flying through the sky. They dreamed about meeting Cherry and Vea and Heidi. They dreamed about flying with Megalodon, the giant dinosaur shark. They dreamed about climbing trees. They dreamed about making forts. Finn dreamed about playing poker and winning. He 
was very, very good at it. They got sleepier and sleepier. And dreamed magical dreams. Dreams about how much they loved each other. How much mom and dad loved them too. Their bodies were super, super tired. Been a very long day. Just dreamed and dreamed and dreamed all night long. Just let yourself fall deeper and deeper to sleep. Sweet, sweet.